In Regent's Park stands a small building dedicated to the service of those for whom the beauty of flowers and trees can only be an idea or a memory. Inside this building, a recording engineer transfers onto wax beauty of another kind for blind folk to share with their more fortunate fellows. This wax and disc will become almost like a pair of eyes to thousands who live in darkness. It's like an ordinary gramophone record, but it moves more slowly, so that a whole book can be recorded on a few discs. The engineer sees that the surface is clean and checks the meter to see if everything's in order. Soon, the National Institute for the Blind, in cooperation with St Dunstan's, will have added another treasure of literature to its talking book library. Inside the studio, an announcer waits to begin. The chart shows that today, one of the masterpieces of Balzac is being recorded. Old Gorio by Honoré de Balzac, recorded for the Talking Book Library for the sole use of the blind, read by Joseph MacLeod. Madame Vauquer, née de Conflance, is an elderly person who for the past 40 years has kept a lodging house in the Rue Neuve saint geneviève in the district that lies between the Latin Quarter and the Faubourg Saint-Marcel. Her house, known in the neighborhood as the Maison Vauquer, receives men and women, old and young. And so the blind are able to see with the mind's eye. Old Gorio by Honoré de Balzac, recorded for the Talking Book Library for the sole use of the blind, read by Joseph MacLeod. Madame Vauquer, née de Conflance, is an elderly person who for the past 40 years has kept a lodging house in the Rue Neuve Sainte Geneviève in the district that lies between the Latin Quarter and the Faubourg Saint-Marcel. 